Hi, my name is um, maybe something where I'm the time services librarian and I'll be taking you through the process of accessing our digital library so that you may make use of our library even if you're not at, at the Harare campus. So let me share my screen. Confirm that you can see my screen. Okay, so uh, because we ask for other people to join, this is open to everyone. I'll just go through this process first. For those that might want to borrow uh, the physics from our physical collection, I ask that uh, if you're not yet a member of the library, you register with us. You can just go to the uh, web website that's library.cuz. Library.cuz.ac.ze, and you can uh, enter library services. Uh, you click on membership form, you fill in your details, and then you can uh, uh, submit them to add you to our system. That's that's for the, the core system that we use. Then uh, this is just a rundown of the different uh, resources, databases that uh, have very good academic information, academic journals and books and uh, peer reviewed papers, etc. Um, so there is ACM Digital Library, The Gryter, uh, Edward Olga, Daisto, Iowa, Real, The Search for Life. And Taylor and Francis. I'll, I'll explain as you go how these are accessed and used. So now we migrated to a new system of accessing our digital library. And this uh, system, this new system that we're using, is called Open Atoms. So everything. All these databases that we have access to as the CUZ library are there on Open Atom. So how do you how do you go about this this Open Atom? So the first thing is you need to have your CUZ email um, access. So you go onto your browser if you're using Opera, you maybe you're using your Google Chrome or Safari for those using Apple devices, etc. So you go on to wherever you, 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 you search for information on the internet form. So I'll just say your Google and then you type uh, open atoms or you just go to my open atoms.net. Then you select, so you see a, a, a window that looks like this because of. Uh, I, I took the screenshot from a computer that I've used before. Uh, it, it looks like this, but for your first time, you will find something like this. And then you will click on search, you type Catholic University of Zimbabwe. And then when it comes out, you just click on, on, on the CUZ logo. And then it will take you to another page that requires you to log in. So the reason why I was saying you need to have your CUZ email access is because it's, it's your CUZ email that you use to access this. The same password that you use for to access your, your emails is the same password that you use to, to log on to open Atom. So once you log in, you will see a page that looks like this. Um, it has all those resources that I was saying. Uh, uh, I recommend, we recommend as the CUZ library. 
so if you just scroll down you see all of them if, if you see uh, maybe you want this one or the other one that's below but you just click on it it will take you to the to the to the page and you can now access your resources. Do you have any questions as well? Thank you for that. So on I just okay, let me try to see if you have a people. All right, moving on. So I've just put uh, some of the very good resources that you can use uh, in your research, be it for assignments or research papers or dissertations, etc. So I've put the first one is research for life. So. On Research for Life, you can find journals, you can find books, uh, other databases, you can find uh, world, very good publishers, you can find reference, reference sources, and you can find information on different subjects. So, how do you log in? You can log in using open accounts like I, I was showing, or you can uh, go on to your google your browser where you, 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 you access the internet you, you type research for life and then uh, on the home page it looks like this if you click on access content um okay let me admit someone Okay, we're on the login in. Uh, okay, so if you click on login, there's uh, a password that um, there's a username and password that is used to give to people. So I'll just put it on the chat when, when I'm done presenting the login details for Research for Life. So if we use one username and one password for everyone at CEZ. So um, which is to be used by CEZ people only and not to be shared with other people that are not with our institution. And then so once you click login you have access to it. So when you click login if you see a page that looks like this you can search for everything that you want. So I'll just demonstrate, for example, I had searched for sustainable development, as you can see. Then I clicked on search, and then my search results page looked like this. I just took an, a, a, a little bit of, I just took uh, some way that I, I, I wanted to show you how you how it looks like. So I, I cropped two pictures here. So, on the results page, you find out that, for, for example, this one, it has 400,000 results that they might not all be relevant to what I'm looking for. So I might now refine my search. I can say I want uh, only a full text that's online, or I want quality and peer reviewed uh, papers only. Or I want a conference proceeding, a book chapter, a book review, or an, a book or an ebook, or maybe refined by the publication date. Maybe I only want things from a year ago. You can choose the, the, the years that you want. Once you do that, uh, you find that your things that are specific to exactly what you're looking for. And then uh, also, these are other ways of defining a search. You just go to and see maybe I want sustainable development.
development with a certain thing to do with economics. I then click on economics and once once I have refined my search, if I just click on the result, it will take me to the result and if I want to download or read online I can do that. Okay. So that that's just uh research for life. Okay, yeah, just trying to show you more quickly how you can So this is another uh, resource that I have selected that is very good. That's ProQuest eBook Central. So ProQuest has eBook only, but very good eBook. Uh, and it, it you get a full text uh, on it. So if you use open items, the open items that I was uh, talking about earlier on, they open up uh sorry uh focus ebook central is free so once you go on open items and you click on uh ebook central it will take you to a page uh that looks like this if you have an account already created by uh, you may you may just go on and log in but if you don't have you can create click on create account and please use your favorite email to create that account. All right, so once you are logged in, you see a page that looks like this. You type in your the information that you're looking for. Uh, for demonstration sites, I had typed uh, theology and sleep and search. Then you got the search result. So just like you search for life, there's an option for me to refine my search. I can refine it by maybe the year it was published. I only want to be from 2023 or from 2022. Or I want uh, a specific subject uh, or maybe a specific language. Maybe I only see one thing in, in English only. I can refine my search and get to the result that speaks to what I'm looking for. And then one. Once you're done, and, and also, uh, once you're done, you can select whether you want a full book or you want chapter results. Because sometimes you, can, you might not need the whole book, you just need a chapter that's speaking to what you're looking for. So you can select either you want a chapter or a book. But then once you're done, you can, if you want the full book, you can click on it and download. Uh, you can also read, read the book online. Or edit to your bookshelf. So once you click on download, it will take you to this page. So if you don't have Adobe, uh, sorry, the first thing it will ask you the device that you're using. So if it's a laptop or an iOS device that your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod. You select that. If it's an Android phone, you select that. Uh, and, and and continue. You just on here you just click what's appropriate. If you're using your own computer, you click here. If you're using a public one, you click here. And then the next thing, uh, it's a good from focus. And we all need our mic. Someone has their mic mic on and. So, a uh, book from Talkers, uh ebook central only open with Adobe Edition. Okay. So, you need to install it in the device that you are using. So, be it a phone or a computer, you can install the Adobe Edition in it. So, you just go here and click on Adjust Adobe Edition. It will take you to the Adobe Edition page and then you download it. Once you're done, you come back here, you click on download step, and then the next step is to now download the book that you want. So you can select the, the loan length. So this book you you have them it's more like a digital library, it's a very good that you you select the number of days that you want the book for. 
So you can select a day, seven days, fourteen or twenty one days. So from this you you after you the, the days that you select that you want the book for. If you select one day, after one day it will disappear from your device. So if you want it for a longer time it's better you click on maybe seven twenty one days. And then you also I select the, the format with either a, a PDF or a, an e -pass. And then you click on download and the, the, the book will be in your, in your device. Um, any, any questions on, on this? No questions. Am I still audible? Okay. Not visible to everyone. Is it visible now? Okay. Is it visible now? Okay. Um, all right. So was it was it visible when I was explaining on progress is essential? Okay, so let me just run through focus again so that we see what we are talking about. So I was just saying for well, progress as book when you if you go on open items and you log in and you click on progress ebook center, you will see a page that looks like this. If you have an account, a CZ account, you just log in. But if you don't have one, if you click on create account, this is an account for focus only that you'll be creating. So, and uh, I, I ask that you use your CZ email when creating this account. Again, I was saying, um, this is a, the, the, the page that you should land on when you log in. So, you search for anything that you're looking for here. You just type in your, your search key. I, I just typed geology for the sake of the demonstration and then I clicked on search. And then I can refine my search. Because some, some of the times you get results that are not speaking to what you are looking for. So you can refine the search maybe using the year, public, the subject, the language, or you can even say, select a specific author that you want so that you get results that are relevant to you. And uh, with this book, you can also choose a chapter result or a book result. And on these icons, this is a download icon. And for this one, you can read online. And for this one, you can add to your bookshelf. So you have you actually have your progress bookshelf bookshelf, um, which is why it's important to create your progress account. So when you click on download, uh, it will take you to the page. You can you still see? So it will ask you the device you're using. You click on it, and then. 
you, you, you select the device that you're using. So if, if it's a laptop, an iOS device, an Android device, you just click the one that's appropriate and click on continue. And then when you get to stage two, um, ProQuest books, they open with Adobe Ed, uh, Digital Edition. So you need to have that application in your device, your computer or your phone. And then once you click on here, if it takes you to their page, you install. Once you're done installing, you get back here and you click download the step. And then here, you can select now the days that you want the, the book for. It goes up to 21 days. So you select the date that you want the book for. If, if you want it for a longer time, it's better to, to, to click on 21 days because the book will disappear from your device after the date that you're selecting. And then you can go on and download your book. That's, that's what I did on uh, ProQuest. Uh, any questions? If, if there are no questions, I'll move on to open exercise. So, um, there are also other sites that are not, uh, that we don't pay for, but are quite as good. Which are, for example, Open Knowledge Mob, Doorweb, Doorweb, PDF Drive, Agile. This one is very good for, for, for when you are looking for things that speak to the African context. This is African Journals Online. So this one is, is also quite good. And then slide share is quite good presentation. So for this one, so if you just go on Google and you type it, you for example, you type Open Knowledge Map, you get you get access to it. You don't need to pay or subscribe or do anything. Okay, so that's about it for for how to access our our digital library. So if you just manage to go on to Open Athens, you are good to go. If you just manage to log on to Open Athens, you, you are good to go. Then I'll just run through uh, reference management. So. I'll, I'll just take you to Zotero. For those who know Mendeley, Zotero is the same. They, they do the same, they, they serve the same purpose of, of managing your referencing. So I take it we all academics, we find ourselves maybe writing assignments, writing um, pieces, writing research papers, writing. So this Zotero will help you. To manage your references and also to keep your work, you you can put the, the resources that you're using within your Zotero library. So, what is Zotero? It's a free open source research tool that helps you collect, organize, analyze, uh, assess, and share it in a variety of ways. So, as you see, as I try to demonstrate, you it's it's quite it saves your time and it's quite quite good. Okay, so uh, how do you use it? First things first, you need to create a Zotero account. So if you go on your browser, you type. Uh, Zotero.org, and or you just type uh, create Zotero account. You you get to a page that looks like this. You you type in you fill in this, and then you receive an email to activate account. Then your Zotero account is is good to go. So. And then step number two, you need to download the desktop application. So to the same page that's uh, Zotero.org, 
you or you, you just go on your browser again and type download Zotero. It will take you to when you click on the Zotero um, link, it will take you to a page that looks like this, and then you download the Zotero that's um, compatible with the device that you're using. So, and also the operating system that you're using. So, for example, it's telling me it's available for Mac, uh, so, so that's Macintosh, for Windows, for Linux, and iOS. So, with all any of these devices, many, many people I know will use Windows. You just click on download and you are good to go. If you download and it's put in your computer, you, you run it and then automatically you have the web processor plugged in, which is the thing that you need the most. You see as I try to, 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 to demonstrate and then the third thing that you need to install, you, you go on your Google again, you type install the zero connection and then you click on install. And then you are also good to go. It will install on, on its own. If you just click here on install, it will install on its own. So you need to put uh, documents and uh, all the things, maybe for those who publish, for those who write, you might want also to put your things into your Mendeley library. Sorry, your Zotero library. So how do you do this? So Zotero library looks like this. Once you've downloaded it, the desktop app looks like this. So there's an option to, to, to add um, from, from the library that you just come here, you click on new item and then you add the document. Or the other option is you can go on to the, the, to the document in your computer, you drag it. If you drag it to this open space, it will, will to just be copied into your library. This is really a way of also backing up because once it's in your library, even if you log in in another computer, you still have access to this information. So uh, I find this is another way to back up your, 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 your stuff. So once you have this document, if you write your assignment or if you write your thesis or your dissertation or a paper, you can now use this document in text citation and reference your and it the 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 Zotero will do it for you. So this uh am I still audible? You can see my screen. All right. So once you download Zotero and you install it in your device, your Microsoft Word will have an addition of, of this thing, this Zotero icon. So now when I'm writing, this was just for, for demonstration. I, I, I type uh, law refers to this, 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 this uh, law refers to rules and regulations that govern human contracts or other societal relations uh, enforceable by state. So I wanted now to cite this. I clicked on Zotero and then this thing came out. Then I, I clicked on add or edit citation. When I clicked on it, it gave me this thing. So I knew this was from uh, Maduku. Then I just typed, I know it's M A D. Before I even finished, it had suggested this book, Introduction to Zimbabwe and by Maduku. I clicked on it and it, uh, it put this citation for me. So you can actually select the citation style that you want. So when you first click on the on ed citation 
it will ask you which citations you want to use, even if it's footnotes, it will ask you uh, which 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 standard are you using, and then if you select the standard, I think the score is APA, and then I have my citation. I do not type this; it's Mendeley that sorry, it's Zotero that put it for me. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you put the citations into using Zotero. You click on Zotero, and then you click on Add or Edit Citation. And then you type in the name of the author or maybe the title of the thing. So uh, I'll emphasize on this. The, the, the article or the book or the, the journal that you are you want to put in text using Zotero must be in your Zotero library. So the first step is to add all documents that you want to use in your Zotero library. And then once you're done with that, you can now use them. You can cite them using the thing. Do I have any questions as yet before I go on? Okay, which part? Okay, so in text citation, we are here. You type, uh, for example, I was I type low is low whether it's just or unjust. That is according to. I know this. I saw this in a in a book by Professor Madiku. So instead of me typing uh, the, the citation, I now go on. So, I, I, like I said before, when you install Zotero, your word will have this Zotero icon. So, you click on Zotero, and then it, it will, this will pop up, and then you click Add or Edit Citation. Yeah. Once you click on this, you will see something that looks like this. And then you type in the name of the author or the, the title of the, the book or article that you want to cite. And then once you, you do that, you see, for example, I just typed MAG and already suggested this for me, this book for me. I clicked on it and then it puts the citation. So this was done by Zotero. Are you answered? All right. So um, there's a slide that's missing here. So when when you are done writing, so I'm done writing my 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 thesis or my dissertation or my assignment, I click on Add or Edit Bibliography. Uh, okay. Let me just. Let me just try to, to, to do a live demo on this. Can you see my screen? Confirm that you can see my screen. So uh, I'm just trying to explain what I was talking about. For example, my name is Melissa. This was for me, this was written by someone. I am here, I click on the tarot, add citation. Then it will ask me which 
citation style do I want to use? Maybe I want to use um, APA event edition. And then now I want to differ from page, for example. And then once I, 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 I do this, I click enter and my citation is there. And I, I type in something else. I add citation. Um, this, uh, I know there's something on my name, that's why I just type MI. And once I select it and click enter, I have my citation. Just let me just put three. Add citation. So once I'm done, so just to say I'm done with my, my paper, I now want to put my bibliography or references whatever you call it I, I don't type in everything because i have the parent manages my references so i i come here i click on add or edit bibliography and then it puts my bibliography for me as you can see everything that i was putting in text is here on on under bibliography in one click so that that's why we are saying it manages your references and it it's quite a good thing to use save time uh, any questions contributions or or any comments if there are no I'll move on to, so I know the people who requested for this are, are, are postgraduate, are postgraduate students, so I just thought it might be of, of use for me to, to share information on this. So, for example, those, those, are write, those who are writing, those who want to write papers, or those who want to publish papers. Um, there is something called uh, article processing charges. So there is an, there is an organization that calls uh, electronic information for libraries. It's negotiated with publishers for, for these article processing charges. Uh, so to make sure that uh, authors from our institution actually have discounted article processing charges. And also some of them are actually free. So for for the terms and conditions that apply to the different publishers, you you can go to uh, eifl.net. So when I share the slides, you can just follow this link to take you to the resources. So this 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 is just a rundown of, of the publishers that um that have waived APC that has discounted APC. There is Association for Computing Machinery, Brio, Cambridge University Press, Edward Alga, Sage, Iowa, all those there have um, discounted APC because we are under EIFO. So you can go on and, and check their site and make use of it. Um, yeah. These are, these are the, the others, so you can just go on to the, to the site and, and check out and make use of this very good opportunity. So, um, if there are there any questions? I hope the silence means that we at least got something.
case, I will give a handout and also um, a link to the recording. So we'll, we'll put the recording on our YouTube page and share the link on our on our Facebook and also via email. And you can check your email to send the slides and the, the link to this recording. So if there are no questions, thank you so much for joining. I hope uh, we'll be you'll be making use of, of the very good resources that uh, you have access to is our pattern. So if there is nothing else, that'll be all. Thank you and have a good day.